The 26-year career with General Electric as the Worldwide Company Illustrator for our local motor division, GE Transportation Systems, Inc. My job is to work with the design staff and lift locomotives, conceptual locomotives, off the blueprint. And my job is to make them look totally real and technically accurate prior to them being built. Once again, I did that for 26 years with General Electric. Point of interest, I am a descendant of Pullman Porters. I'm dressed here today as a Pullman Porter, and I represent the legacy that I inherited from my grandfather on my mother's side, Alan Parrish, who was a Pullman Porter on the old Atlantic Coastline Railroad, which is now CSX Corporation. And my grandfather on my father's side, which was the Pennsylvania Railroad, which is part of the Norfolk Southern Corporation. And if I didn't mention it, I happen to be the world's only black, professionally recognized, full-time railroad technical illustrator. I've been working in this capacity for 47 years full-time, running it as a business, and you can see some of my work displayed here. Um, let me say I want to thank God uh, for the talent. I want to thank God for bringing each and every one of you here, because to Him goes all the glory, all the honor, and all the credit. I'm currently writing a book that, once it's published, will be entitled The Journey from Chains to Trains to Change. And this book will be the official, official story of black Americans and railroading and the contributions that our ancestors gave to North American railroading in the words of the immortal Donald Trump, we helped make America great. And not to be exclusive, but rather inclusive, uh, it was the European descendants and immigrants that helped build the railroads in the Northeast. It was the indigenous Native Americans that built the railroads in the Midwest as well as the Southwest. My story starts south of the Mason-Dixon line and east of the Mississippi River. And so our story begins with songs that were sung by our ancestors, here being Juneteenth and celebration thereof. These songs contain lyrics that gave power, honor, and glory to the Most High, but they were songs that contain hidden messages of hope, freedom, and power. After all, what better representation to represent the Most High than a train? Songs like Get On Board Little Chillin, or This Train Is Bound For Glory, or even Swing Low Sweet Chariot, because in railroad jargon, the chariot is the caboose. And of course, our ancestors recognized that as being such from an observation point where you can see the contents of the entire train and make the appropriate decisions in order to stop the train or keep the train moving in the event there's something wrong. But with that being said, with the book, there'll be 12 chapters, and I won't elaborate long on that because I could end up speaking for hours on that one subject alone. But at any rate, I'm representing the world's first all-black, or as my grandfather would say, the world's first all-colored union, the International Brotherhood of Sleeping Car Porters. And of course, they were affectionately known as Pullman Porters, or the men called George, or until they became the world's first all-black union. Uh, they were called many other names, Willie, Leroy, Sambo, sometimes even asked to get on all fours and bark like a dog if need be. But these are our ancestors. And once again, to be uh, inclusive, we should all be proud of the shoulders that we're standing upon because we're standing upon the shoulders of giants. Not just our parents, our grandparents, but our great-grandparents and great-great-grandparents all the way back to the Emancipation Proclamation. And so with that being said, I'd like to just kind of transfer over and like to uh, uh, thank each and every one of you for coming out in celebration of Juneteenth uh, because our ancestors were freed from captivity, freed from slavery, delivered off the plantation like Pullman Porters. And by the way, the Pullman Porters were the very first job opportunities that were offered to black men after slavery. George Mortimer Pullman, who founded the Pullman Company, hired blacks off the plantation that were used to serving the public and service with a smile. And so with that being said, once again, uh, I'm rendering service by way of the God-given talent of art, and when you get the opportunity, please visit the art. I want to say this, that I give daily presentations at the Amtrak station here in Atlanta, and it was this morning that I had the opportunity to meet this beautiful lady right here. I had no idea who she was, never seen her a day in my life, and I brought her all the way from Amtrak here to Tyrone, Georgia this morning, and excuse me, I'm getting goosebumps. I knew that her sister looked familiar, I knew that her mother looked familiar, but I couldn't quite put a handle on it because I've been on PBS, Good Morning America, Fox 5 News, 
and uh, a number of other news organizations because of the status of not who I am, but what I am, because I represent those who came and went before me. At any rate, uh, I brought her home and had the opportunity to uh, be introduced to her mother. And I saw the glimmer in her eyes and I knew that there's something about this lady. Long story short, I am very close and very dear friends to their now uh, transitioned brother, Ronnie Randall. <laughs> he and I were the best of friends and it wasn't until uh, I realized just who, what her mother was and, and who this beautiful person was and uh, of course Ronnie's younger sister as well that it all of a sudden hit me and so they invited me to come and set up my art this evening otherwise I wouldn't be here I wouldn't even know about this event so it lets me know that God works in mysterious ways he has worked with us as a people with us as human beings because after all we were all created in his image with God's wonderful palette creating us in yellow and brown and black and white in pink and other various shades. So I'm here actually to represent not only the black Americans, the Afro-Americans, the coloreds, the Negroes. Call us what you want, but just don't insult us in the process. But I'm just here to represent the fact that we're here, we're standing, we're strong, and the legend and the legacy continues. So I'd just like to thank you all for this opportunity, in particular the family here in this wonderful, wonderful setting. And so God bless you, and as I say at Amtrak, all aboard! Well, everybody, the party is not over. So get up, dance, and vibe with the vibes.